Ah, now it's good. <laughs> Finally. I had to put my mobile data on. Not good internet. <laughs> A lot of people on the internet. Hello. Yeah, you look pretty with all these filters. Yeah, well, it's the only way I can look beautiful at this time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, I also quick change the pajamas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I need to put the lipstick, at least, you know, at least lipstick. <laughs> so, hello, uh, uh How is uh, in England now? When are you planning? Well, when not, not are you planning, but when are the government planning on, on sending you back to work? There is no, no kind of news because, well, they saying that uh, by March they start kind of releasing a little bit the lockdown, but we as a, you know, um, face-to-face -face kind of treatments, I'm sure we won't be open till probably summer. That's what they said, uh, you know, a week ago or something like that. It, it's, 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 it's not looking very, you know, positive. Mm-hmm. So we actually don't know when, and we've been locked. Uh, well, basically, I could say it's since November, but oh uh, well, Crazy. in December we had three weeks where girls could could work, and then again uh, from uh, I think from Boxing Day, twenty sixth of uh, December, December, we've been, been locked. Yeah, but like totally locked down like you can't get out of the house do nothing not even like walk around a little walk, bit walk or... around of, of course it's, it's fine uh you know just uh, you cannot visit anyone um schools are closed everything is closed to be honest with you so just the the food shops you know essential uh, shops open otherwise everything is closed yeah Oh my god. Mm, it's, de it's depressive. It's, uh, I, I could actually sense it and feel it uh, even on, on social media. That, uh, it's affecting you know, everybody. Hmm? Not like a first lockdown. Everyone was partying, you know, enjoying like a kind of long holiday. Mm. Um, now it doesn't feel like that. The girls it's doesn't know any anymore how to motivate themselves. Yeah, we have the same feeling here. So yeah, there's a girl saying here that we can't even complain because... Um, You've been open, it, yeah. Yeah, only this this lockdown, it's been really bad. It's like you're saying, like uh, the first time we, we felt it was like a holiday. Mm -hmm. Now we're feeling like the seriousness of it. And uh, it's, it's worrying us because uh, the president of, of Portugal was saying that uh, it could stay like this, not, not total lockdown, but state of emergency could go up to the summertime. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's a bit scary but anyway we'll try and do what it's possible and yeah. and and keep positive yeah i just need to find out you know find all the energy and and use it for the good stuff i know sometimes you know we can have a bad days you know i'm not, I'm not gonna lie of course of course uh whole year you know let's say we had flawless been working even probably harder than any time before but uh we had some days you know that it's like it just you don't want to do anything it's just uh, i think it's a natural reaction reaction mm -hmm. and i think uh, you just need to feel it and let it go um and next day see how it goes and just try again you know to to keep yourself motivated but don't push it too much because if you need to just uh, sit and just think or you know to be sad is okay as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just like, you know, we are human beings. We need to also look after ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. Basically mm. that's it. But yeah, here in Portugal, uh, we can't complain like I was saying. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, because we are, you know, our minds here tend to be quite small in terms of thinking because we are Why? a small country. <laughs> we are a small country. So, uh, I think in general we tend to be more more negative uh, about things, mm -hmm. but I think you know for the lash artists in specific. Now, of course, talking about our our world, it's been quite good. I think in in general, I I, I can f speak for myself, but I think mm -hmm. in general, we've been trying to connect with one another, uh, try to like tag one another, like really push for. for 
all of the brands, you know, mm -hmm. competition aside. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing a lot together, which is quite good. A lot of lives, a lot of interacting. Um, and it's been, it's been really great because we're trying to know uh, one another more. And we feel quite, you know, united, which is really nice because, you know, when you're working in a daily basis, you can't really, you know, you can follow mm -hmm. some people work, but not in a daily basis like we're doing it now. Yeah. So, and in, in a more personal perspective, because we like speaking with people that are at home, you know, like we are here, you know, while you're at your, in your bedroom and I'm in my bedroom, it's like really personal. And it is. It is really personal. So people like that a proximity. So it's really good. It's, it, I'm glad to hear that you are in Portugal like that because uh, what I can sense it in, in UK, it's, it's more depressing. It's just like a, at least it it's, looks like a girls don't even want to go on social media because they said, I don't want to even go and look what, who's doing what because if I'm depressed, why? why? It's just yeah. like... Um, yeah well, it depends probably so maybe because you you haven't been locked for 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 a while and you only had a one lockdown isn't it yeah in march so this is our second one and from march uh, till till when you had so up until now so in nearly a year's time so eight no months, I, I mean the eight. the first lockdown how long it was oh the first lockdown it was one month and a half ah, you see we had like a six or seven months the first lockdown. Then we opened just for, for two months, if I'm, if I'm correct, or like, a, like very little, not mm -hmm. even three months. And then again, another lockdown. And then they opened for three weeks and then again lockdown. So in Europe, uh, other countries, it's let's say. Practically it's, it's... the whole year that you've mm -hmm. been. We only worked that. three months in a year. So it's, it's really bad. My God. Yeah, so it's it's really really hard, and I don't know what to say to you. I even so, I I admire uh, so much. You know, I love the brand. You know that. I love you as a person, and uh, I just admire how much have you launched this year, even though you were not like working. Like obviously you were working, but you were not at the you know the academy and all of that. And that's that's really. I need well, to congrats you. We couldn't postpone everything because we were planning before the all the lockdown, you know, so many launches. And uh, yeah, there was a, like a de debate uh, de uh, to launch or not to launch. Will people will be interested? Will it get that wipe and hype, you know, uh, from these launches? Um, but it was quite successful because the first launch in a, in the first lockdown, it was some lashes and it, it, it was booming. And I was like, okay. So that's what probably gave me some little bit, you know, courage uh, not to stop and, and do the other launches. So actually, yeah. while we're talking about the launches, uh, there's a big news coming this Sunday. So keep your eyes open. There's another new launch. <laughs> Fiquem atentas. Vai vir surpresa este domingo. Um novo lançamento. Mais um. Another one. My God. I think this year you've launched more than any other than year. Than ever. So, my God. Uh, yeah. Congratulations, Loretta. It's really, really good. Well, uh, I have a good You need to you know, pat yourself on the shoulder. You need to pat yourself on the shoulder. I'm patting myself. I'm uh, patting all the girls. And I <laughs> also you who always keep pushing me, you know, and like uh, uh, not letting me to rest. I'm yeah. like, okay, Gina, again, on <laughs> <want> something. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to say how much, that's what I feel at least how much of um, a close relationship that you have with all of the girls, mm -hmm. uh, with the trainers and uh, distributors. And that's what I love about you. And, uh, and these last past months um, have been really hard. Even so, I still feel enthusiastic about the brand and I try to keep positive. Obviously, I have a total different perspective that you have. But... Um, yeah, we must just take it day by day, like you were saying, and, and keep positive. It's, I guess, also what is in your blood. Uh, I, I am also from a very, very small country, even smaller than Portugal, probably. Yeah. And um, I, I, since I was a little child, I needed to, to, to fight to, to get some way in my life. So I guess that's what's pushing me. And 
during these these hard times if you will stop somebody else will take your place and and uh, you know use this opportunity because um there is no nothing bad what where you cannot find something you know good in it so uh to be honest with you i hate this this lockdown and i and i hate hate this covid but actually it opened my eyes and and, and i achieved uh, many many goals and actually which probably I wouldn't be able to achieve if I was going like a normal, you know, business open and, and uh, busy as always, you know, like, but yeah, there are some good parts from this COVID. The bad, the bad <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I was saying to my husband the other day, Jesus, our technology, I think has fast forward. Mm. Uh, I don't know how many, you know, years because of this whole situation. We had to adapt to these new things. Um, and maybe it was, you know, all good. So there's always positive in the bad. So that's what we have to think. Yeah. And, you know, Gina, how, how I was against the, the online trainings, actually, only lockdown opened my <laughs> eyes. Yeah. But because uh, some things you can learn online <laughs> yeah exactly and and especially with the quality that says that has been done with and uh i think it's yeah people are getting more open-minded about it and uh, it's really good it's really good mm -hmm. obviously there are some limits to the people that don't have you know experience and and that i agree that it's not the best to mm -hmm. to share online when person when a person doesn't have no experience but even so, we never know. Maybe, you know, the, the student can adapt quite easily and they can do it. So we have to be open-minded about it. And, and it's been going great. I've been telling the girls lately on the lives that I've been doing that the, the online volume course for me in terms of theory is one of the best ones because it's so complete and the videos are so well done they are really close and you can really understand what it's being done done uh, over lockdown yeah <laughs> not, not over, in the lockdown yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean it's incredible and uh and yeah it's it's great so let me see what yeah. questions i have here or what comments so i don't get anyone então, aqui a Débora, eu estou aqui em Londres e vejo essa diferença. Mm -hmm. Pois, there's a girl there in London, which she's saying that she sees the difference of being here and being there. Ver notícias ajuda a saber a realidade de todos no mundo e não nos concentrarmos só em nós. É verdade. So, exatamente, é por isso que eu acho que temos que fazer um esforço agora para as coisas melhorarem Diana, porque lá fora está bem pior. Yeah, everybody's like kind of saying how lucky we are in a way that we, you know, we are in lockdown, but we had a lot of time, you mm -hmm. know, working. Yes. Here's I'm one of confident. my ambassadors saying you are beautiful and entrepreneur. Thank you. <laughs> There's a question regarding, I think this is one of your followers. You make online courses, hair stroke. Hair stroke, uh, I, uh, probably no. it's the microblading. Yeah, I think so. No, we don't. We don't do hair stroke. So let me see here more. Verdade, agarrou oportunidade, sem dúvida, Ana. Say queens. <laughs> Julie Ann Moss, I suppose it's one of your followers also, Loretta. Great quote. If you stop, someone else will take your place. That's for sure. Time to get out of the comfort zone. My, my, one of my ambassadors, Anna, she loves you, by the way, and loves the brand. Oh. Ellen, miss you girls. We miss you too, Ellen. From miss Russia. Ellen, yeah. Está brutal. One of the girls that already done uh, the online course, she says it's awesome and she loved it. With uh, She did it with me recently, Rebecca. Uh, Maria, Loretta and Gina, my first question is, how does it feel to create the best tweezer in the world? I need to leave, <laughs> but I have to ask it. Yeah, Maria, she's such a great lash designer. Mm -hmm. uh, she's in this industry quite recently. 
Mm -hmm. But she did her training with London Lash, but mm -hmm. she loves our products and she's bought a lot from us also. Mm -hmm. And she loves, loves, loves the 90 degree tweezers. So everyone it's, loves that tweezer. It's, <laughs> it's my top tweezer seller here and everybody loves it. It's, it's incredible. To be honest with you, uh, I can tell you a little story about that because um, I'm always, I can do the fan, I'm sorry, I'm not like a priding myself, I, st I still can do uh, the fan with any tweezers, with Vitus, with straight tweezers, I can do the fan, uh, it's not a joke, w once we had uh, like a little story in uh, one conference, one, one speaker as well, she said, ah oh, yeah, Loretta, look, I have a garbage box of the tweezers and uh, they are not working, we tried many of us, I'm like, i just taking every single uh, tweezer and I'm making a fan. So for me, it's it's pretty hard, to, you know, to, to make a tweezer which would be suitable for everyone. But this kind of tweezer, I was uh, like asking manufacturers the, the shape because, you know, the pointy sharp uh, is very important. If you are fanning on a strip, not I'm not talking about the finger rolling. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's also uh, the foot, the way it's closes, you can take quite a many multiple, you know, multiple uh, extensions. So it's pretty good. Um, and it was really interesting stories the way i go you know in the conferences for worldwide i'm taking those tweezers giving as a gift you know for the goodie bags quite few brands they were asking me loretta can you please do with our logo this tweezer you know we don't ask the manufacturer's details but can you do i said i'm really really sorry <laughs> but <No>. that's mine <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh. God. But it, yeah, it is amazing. My God. And it, it's, it's just like, I think it's one of the most important tools of our work. I mean, it's, it's, you have to have at least two or three of them. And um, this girl in particular, Maria, she's uh, very good, like I was saying, mm -hmm. and she's already bought two because, you know, it's just like that plan B that we have to have always. Yep. And everybody loves it here in Portugal. My God. I don't have any more to sell at the moment. It's completely not not available. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, every single visa if they handmade, there is like a, sometimes you know you get used it to, to well, the same visa, but the, the next one you will buy, it could be slightly, you know, different. Mm -hmm. But I always say you have to train your uh, tweezer, like, to, yeah. to work for you because every single time you take something new even if it's the same it could feel different because it's, it's not used it's not not you know not touched i would say totally we must make it our tweezer and and train it our way totally yeah so we have another question loretta loretta when will we have classic eyelash extensions 0 0.20 people never, ask this a lot never never so <laughs> Sorry, explain never. explain explain <laughs> never ever we actually i don't know you, you probably didn't see the, this kind of stories and videos when uh, probably just last year you know before i know the you're lockdown. not a big fan of it that i know no and we were like actually we had so still so many left we actually were like from all the shelves to the bins throwing away throwing away all the zero twenties and um to be honest with you, I always been a big believer in a health, uh, healthy lash extensions. And even if we came up with the pre-made, uh, pre-made fans, I'll tell you the story a little bit later. Uh, everything is it has to be healthy and safe. Uh, why we don't want zero twenty? Because it's it's not healthy for the natural lashes. There's so many other options which you can choose to achieve that look, like a flat lashes which are much, much lighter, but gives that nice dark look. Uh, we actually even thinking to get rid of, of 015 because let's say in UK and the uh, rest of the EU, uh, no one's even actually buying 015. They start from 012, 010 and basically only volume. And pre is of course um, off the shelves now, out of stock as always, because it's, it's, it's booming and it's getting a bit out of fashion. The thing yes. Happens, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Totally Flat lashes is taking over and it's much, much nicer and much, much softer, which we actually also improving now with uh, flat lashes, which we have now. 
it's a it's a big uh, big uh, launch also coming i actually re 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 revealing this the secret <laughs> but <laughs> it, it's gonna be much more uh you know um softer still very dark but very light and and it's just like real nice to touch when you're touching it doesn't feel that it's zero fifteen flat lashes nice Ok, so I'm just going to translate it a little bit. Então, uh, Patricia, because this is our ambassador, she's been wanting to, to know for quite a while and I've been saying that, oh, look, I don't really know, but I don't think it's coming soon, so... Uh, may maybe, you know, I'm I'm a bad businesswoman because this could, could um, bring us money and I saw that you commented, yeah, but the girls are asking. But the girls' customers don't understand. If you give them, uh, do the lash uh, extensions, let's say, with flat lashes, but tell them it's a 020, they're not going to understand that. No. Because it's almost the same look, but it's, it's nicer. And they will actually thank you because they will say, oh my God, I don't feel them today at all because they are lighter and softer. But look, it's the same. Exactly. And I mean, I'm, 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 I agree that if you want thicker, and just do volume because you know uh, why it's like you're saying people clients don't know what is the difference unless mm -hmm. they are into it in a different way yeah uh, so yeah i agree with you it's like yeah, while the questions will come up uh, i will tell you a little bit about the pre-made fans because you know how against i was with the, about the pre-made fans yeah until yeah, you know yeah <laughs> Me until too. i found those who which was like really real light and actually it's actually it's much much even nicer than handmade fan i'm i'm i'm, a, I'm sorry to say that That's not a bad thing to say but it's true every single one is the same it's so symmetric it's, it's just like a competition of fans you know it's so pretty but um, that's why we always sold out. And uh, to, to make this kind of fans, the uh, pre-made, you know, uh, takes really, really long time. Uh, but two, two bad reviews from all what we sold, like thousands, we got two bad reviews because they don't look as 007 thickness times 6D. And I'm like, who does 6D with 07? First of all, it's not healthy. Did yeah, you exactly. calculate the volume, uh, you know, formula? Did you use? The, it's, it's not 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 good. So, of course, you know, they light, they thin, and, and who likes uh, do the 30D with 020 thickness lashes? I'm, I'm joking. Uh, for them, these pre-made fans, of course, is not going to work because exactly. they're too thin. <laughs> But that's that's odd. Yeah, that doesn't make doesn't make. But it's sense. all right. It's all right. Yeah. Two, two yeah. bad uh, bad yeah, exactly. reviews. <laughs> uh, Maria here is saying uh, she needs to leave. It was a pleasure to know you, Loretta. Both of you are just amazing. Thank you, Maria, for being here. Thank you, Maria. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I can say. Well, I think the girls that follow me know that I've been saying on on many stories that how skeptical I was in the mm -hmm. beginning when you said that uh, we were gonna have uh, pre mates and I was like, what pre mates? Uh -huh. What? She's not well in her head. <laughs> Do you know how uh, long I was thinking how to tell my team about that? And I can imagine. Because I was the one who put it in your heads that it's not healthy. Exactly. And then, what the hell is going on? Is Loretta yeah. going uh, ill old? Is she going crazy? Is she like mad? Or... She's not well. She's got out of her mind. What is this pre-made suddenly? We are here taking 1,000 euro courses and here she comes with pre-made. <laughs> Destroyed the, the online Destroyed our training. reputation. <laughs> Well, but to work with them, you also have to have a skills because it's not oh, easy to pick God. up. <laughs> but Jesus, when I got the, the boxes in my hands, I was like, my God, now I can understand why. They were fantastic. They are well, really I'm making them every night, Gina. That's why it so long takes to get them. <laughs> <laughs> Poor you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, for the girls that don't know how our pre mates they are really, really good. Um, really thin uh, in terms of thickness. Uh, it's all Based. of them. Mm -hmm. 
005. Really light weighted, the pointy base, uh, really thin on the base. They stick really well on the natural lash. Uh, really good retention also. Uh, I don't know, all good things, all good things. <laughs> And I think, as you're saying, it's the future. You know, I was invited to a, a video conference uh, in March uh, mm -hmm. with, you know, like a few known lash artists here in Portugal. And um, I, I'm going to talk about pre-made. And I'm actually super excited about it because it is, it can be our future. And it, it already it's already coming. Yeah, it already is because I mean, people don't have time. People, uh, they're not gonna spend three hours laying down on the bed, uh, expecting like beautiful lashes all the time. So, yeah, time is money. Yep. So, and I'm already, I, I re I'm already introducing a lot by mixing, like doing handmade mm -hmm. uh, fans and the pre mates because. It, uh, especially by the end of the day when lash artists are very tired and they want to just speed up the, the, the work mm -hmm. or just finish it off with a little bit of, uh, of a few fans, it won't hurt anybody. It'll look perfect anyway. And unless you do fans that are totally different from the pre-mates that are to be honest with you, I still would uh, recommend to know and be the pro at making fans by hand. Doesn't matter what future will bring, but you still need to know um, why. First of all, for the pre-mates, uh, the inner corners and outer corners, I would never recommend to to have a, a pre-made fan pre five, uh, six or seven millimeter because the way they are attached on a strip you it's very very hard to pick them up and you can actually destroy them that's why we're not stocking uh, shorter than eight millimeters because it's simply not it's, it's very very hard to, to peel them from the strip yeah and uh, you still need to know how to create the fans uh, otherwise you need to have a very very huge variety of 2d 3d 4d 6d and to be honest with you, um, I don't see the point right to to stock 3D or 4D or 2D fans because this is very, very easily done if you had a good course and much, much quicker and cheaper, to be honest with you. For bigger, mega volume, I would say it's the time-saving pre-meet fans. Yeah, totally. uh, they are asking here, uh, in what circumstances do we use pre -mates? I'm still very against. Uh, um, yeah, and I'm not gonna change your, uh, not gonna try to change the opinion. Uh, if you're against, you probably need to try yourself and see how you feel. Um, me personally, if I would lash, if I still would be a uh, uh, lash artist who takes clients and who wants mega volume, like more than 4D. I would definitely use pre-mates because, uh, again, time is money. And if you want to have a very full set, cover each almost um, every single lash and to have a precise fans, it could take three or long, uh, hours or longer. I, don't ha uh, I wouldn't have that kind of luxury because I want to make money. So you could, with pre-mates, you could make it in half of the time. What would you make 6D or 8D by hand? So that's where I would use pre-made fans. Or if I took many, many, many courses and I still cannot make those beautiful open fans, I just wouldn't even dare to apply closed fans, uh, chunky ones. So then I would use the, those perfect ones. Exactly. So, more questions. Let me go up and see if I missed anyone. No. So, there's a girl asking here something about regarding the stocks of the pre-mates. What happened? I think she's a follower of you. 
Uh, it's your... like everyone's asking us that, and it's like very painful. <laughs> yes. As I, men- as I mentioned, you know, earlier, the, the pre-made fans takes much, much, much longer to, to make because they are handmade and heat bonded, not glue bonded. Uh, also, due to COVID, uh, lots of manufacturers are struggling to get the fiber itself. So that's why it's a huge delay. So we're supposed to get the, this new uh, shipment in December. Look where we are now, February. Uh, I keep pushing them, believe me, almost every day, not every day, maybe every second day. And it's not a joke. I can be a pusher. Um, so that uh, they sent me yesterday the video that they are packing in the boxes, uh, half of it already. And probably next week we will receive uh, some of 6D pre-made fans, which is already sold out, like completely. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Very popular. Yes, we we actually already had like a two shipments since launch. And when did you launch? I think it was in November or something like that. Or no, sorry, I'm lying. October maybe or September, something like this. It was maybe October. Yeah, and we had already big two shipments which were sold out, and now we're waiting for the third shipment. It's like, uh, yeah, sorry. A lot of people ask me also if uh, why there isn't any mix boxes. I've, of I've, yeah, because I I don't see the the point uh, money wise. How many lash uh, sets you can do if it's one tray contains um, mixed lengths? Exactly. Is is no is no point. I know it sounds maybe too expensive to buy like a, every single length like a 10 trays or something like that but it would last long for you exactly so it's just an investment that people have to do if they want to and oh and... no that's visa manufacturers we're not interested we have our own sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> every single time <laughs> oh my god I get so many messages from these guys, Jesus. I just keep blocking them. Good luck. <laughs> so what is your advice on uh, somebody that is now starting to be a lash artist? Mm-hmm. Definitely don't. If you just did the classic lash extensions, don't wait and just straight away do the volume. Yeah. That's that's the, the future. Uh, but also don't ignore the power of lash, lash lift because actually this service is booming. And during the this year, we saw how many people more interested in the lash lift than lash extensions. Simply why? It's much, much quicker treatment. It lasts longer than lash extensions without infills. And you can make a very, very good money. Also, if you're doing lash lift, don't ignore uh, brow lamination because this treatments would bring you a bigger income than lash extensions doesn't matter how i love lash extensions this the lash lift i actually i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna say that but i love it even more because uh myself my lashes are growing very fast i can't stand after one week my lash extensions looks like a because they're growing very quick and that's why I never wear worn, you know, extensions. But when uh, my trainers, Yuli and Anna, did um, lash lift on me, uh, they lasted six weeks, like really curly. And after the serum, of course, they are much longer. I just love it. Yeah, you like, you've always, well, first of all, you can't wear extensions, isn't it, sir, Loretta? I start picking because they, they're growing up to one week and they annoying me. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> my god so you are a lash lift fan yes i am so tell me now i have questions when are the brown lashes uh gonna be launched the 005 oh i can't tell you that keep watching no gina gina don't okay. spoil the secrets i will shut up <laughs> Okay, one more question. Because of the use of the mask, people looking more for lashes, don't you think that too? Uh, of course. Yes, 
yes, yes, yes. Because they can't wear lipstick. They can't show the, the nice uh, cheeks, you know, how, you know, with the, uh, or, you know, like airbrush. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's true. And brows and lashes, of course. Of course, totally. I agree. Yeah. I'm a bit confused now. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get uh, from us like a big, like a big time, hard times. <laughs> no, I'm giving a bit of a spoil. No more wine for you. A bit spoiler, a bit spoiler. Where is Bella? Oh, you don't want her here because she would like bite my feet as soon as I go on a laptop or like on a phone. It doesn't matter where she is. She just like runs and, and, and seeks attention, but I, I close the door so she can't get in. <laughs> okay, nobody has more questions. I don't know. Everybody's very shy. They didn't have a wine like you probably yet. Yeah, I don't know. I, I keep on saying to everybody to bring wine to the lives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goes uh, a question. Oh my Coloretta decided to start a career as a lash artist. So how did you start uh, your career as a lash artist? How did you like realize that you wanted to do this? Oi. Oi, <laughs> that was very long time ago. Uh, I always wanted to do beauty, but I always wanted to do makeup. And look at me, I'm always without makeup. Um, so I started with nails and um, I started with nails. And then I heard it was 2010. Uh, I heard about a, a lash extension. So uh, what is that? You know, so I took a training, which was a few hours. Uh, I was like scared to death. And I said, after the training, I will never ever do the lashes. But I'm the person who cannot keep my tongue, you know, sometimes like Gina, like Gina today. Mm -hmm. Um so I, I said to my uh, all my nail clients that I'm bringing a new service, you know, so they were waiting, booked already, and I, I had no other choice how to start doing it. And after a while, I kind of start loving that treatment because I am a very impatient person and I can I need yesterday, not now, not tomorrow, but I need everything yesterday. But lash extensions were like literally calming me. So I, I found the peace. And where I can just like uh, stay with my mind and and uh, don't think about anything else. Um, that's that's how I started. And uh, there was like a few forums, actually, or suddenly probably one or two US slash forums, where I uh, actually started posting my work. So people start asking for help, and I and um, I start giving the tips about the very very first volume lashes. I was like sharing openly. And they started inviting me to, to, to do the courses. I was like, what? Um, that That's how it started. Yeah. It's like basically. That's how it's. Okay. Uh, maybe I was lucky. I don't know. Yeah. You never realized that you would come so far, maybe. No, I never planned. I never had a, any business plan, any any goals. I just wanted to do the lashes and, and style clients. But when st people started asking for trainings, I actually started enjoying doing trainings and seeing my students, um, like, let's say, uh, good results and their career uh, moving for, you know, forward. So then uh, I needed the products because my students needed products. That's that's why I started creating, but without even thinking about business sales or, or something, just to support my students. Yeah. And uh, I had to quit clients, which was very hard, but I left my students more than clients. So that's why I said bye-bye. And when I, I have amazing girls internationally who works every day with the clients, you actually also um, bringing lots of lots of ideas now. Um, so I, I, I actually decided also to step back from the trainings because I have all of you so I can be the idea person as well uh, of the products and, and uh, you know, marketing customer service. But yeah, it's always time to step back and let others to shine 
Nice. There was a second question, which basically you answered it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I back. Basically, the challenges that you had and the projects and all of that. Oh, that's the that's a huge challenge. <laughs> that's so the, the hardest. And okay. uh, so now I'm actually thinking, did I really want this? Uh, maybe I would just uh, style my clients. I would be more happy. And um, just teach. But yeah. there's no way back now. <laughs> uh, I think that's, we all say that, you know, human are like that, I suppose. We always want, when we are in, a, in the top of our life, uh, in terms of you know professionally wise and we hit the most successful part of our business I suppose like you have uh, we always think in a more how would how would it be if I didn't have this or I think we all do that in different occasions and different situations mm. it's normal I suppose but I without mean, trying you never know exactly and I mean see maybe you haven't maybe not i'm i'm for sure that you wouldn't be able to travel as much to meet as much people if you hadn't had your brand and all of those opportunities i mean to travel the world um so there's always good and bad i suppose i suppose yeah i still love traveling well i miss traveling oh my god i can imagine i can imagine. question loretta how did the name flawless come up <laughs> uh, again no plans no nothing and now i could tell you how you need to plan the business if you want to be successful much quicker than than let's say myself uh, do, <laughs> do it because of the hard work but um first of all uh it was called Toretta's nail art because i was doing just nails then uh i when i started doing lashes i was like okay you are lash institute yeah we had this name uh and then i was thinking Oh my god that, that doesn't doesn't work uh and everywhere in the forums where do you buy products where do you with who you train with loretta 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 how oh, sorry before that we had the flawless lashes because uh that's my friends just said you know because you're doing nice lashes just call flawless lashes i'm like okay whatever <laughs> uh, flawless lashes so can you imagine how many labels and labeling and everything branding would, was changing because i didn't plan i don't care i just do what i want to do uh, it just was like a little bit a mess i would say and then um after having flawless lashes well our company is registered 2013 as flawless lashes so um when uh uh, everyone was asking you know on the forums so where you buy who you tra with who you trained no one mentioned flawless lashes everyone was saying i buy from loretta i trained with loretta i buy i'm like oh god so yes. how to make that a brand yes so that's why we just added by loretta flawless lashes by loretta and it's a nice name oh uh, it is don't you think? But <laughs> it's a little <laughs> bit maybe personal. <laughs> now I start thinking like that. <laughs> I'm getting old, probably. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's it's you can uh, you can just adapt it to any situation. It's like a flawless situation. It's a flawless, flawless product, flawless food, flawless. It's just. <laughs> like a perfect word yeah. so you know i'm just trying now to push more like a logo I'm, i don't want any you know under the word. Like a written word no just the logo <laughs> exactly keep it simple yes okay more question i have a question uh-huh will which uh, will uh, <laughs> no more wine gina <laughs> you know uh, when will uh, the first travel will be? So whenever you come out of the lockdown, where are you going to go first? Uh, because no one yet planned. Well, I was invited to... Imagine to... like we would be free to go anywhere. Ah, you're not talking about the conferences, yeah? No, no, no. Just travel. I want to go to Vegas again because I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Vegas. And... Uh... 
maybe Indian Ocean again because our 10 years wedding anniversary is coming soon and we got married in Mauritius so I would like to go maybe this time to Maldives oh nice yes awesome. Portugal definitely definitely you're not getting rid of me <laughs> I've been saying you and Danielle must come here for, for to the south of Portugal because it's, it's it's very very nice all the beaches and all of that are really, really beautiful. So you must, you must. There is lots of witnesses, Gina. You, you won't get rid uh, of me. Fine. You know, we, it's just, you know, it's my relaxing moment. Come on, girls. Don't, don't say anything. Letizia, I'll come to Switzerland, of course. i never been in Switzerland and I'm coming. <laughs> Either. <laughs> and it must be beautiful. Oh, Miami. Yeah, actually, I'm supposed to go to the, uh, God, what's that conference? I, I'm very bad with memory. There in Miami? Yeah, I was to go to, uh, supposed to go before the lockdown. Uh, well, no, during the lockdown. In June, yeah. I'm supposed to go to uh, Beauty, no, sorry, Beauty Factor. Yeah, Beauty Factor. <laughs> In, in this, Miami. Oh yeah. my God, that must it was have been. canceled. Las Vegas is yeah, supposed but... to go canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Emma's here. Hi, ladies. From Spain. Oh. <laughs> Best place in the world. There's a girl saying here, Am I, one of my ambassadors saying Portugal again. Of course, here in Portugal, when. You know, there are people that don't know that you were here uh, two years now. Two yeah, years two years ago, ago yeah. So 2019, Loretta was here for the first time for a conference and it was so nice. I can't even believe that I did all of that when I was pregnant and I was like, oh my God, so tired. And it was so nice. I was so excited about you coming here. Um, it was just a shame that it was only, what, three or four days? Three days, I suppose. I don't remember well. I think it was only three days. And it was just such a short time for us to be together. But it was so nice. It was lovely. It was so hot, I remember. Oh, my God. It was. It was. And we had nice sushi. <sighs> Best sushi in Lisbon. And you were running like like crazy with your I little know, bumps. My, my little bump, my humongous bump. <laughs> <laughs> I was crazy, my God. How, I don't know how I did it. Uh, one question here. Loretta, thanks for your simplicity for creating this brand that I love. This is one of our ambassadors. She's so good and she loves you and the brand. Thank you for agreeing to be with us today. Thank you, Gina, for this very good opportunity. Thank you, Patricia. Obrigada. My Obrigada pleasure. pelas palavras. Muito, muito bem escrita. Sim, senhora. Um, <laughs> thank you, girls, for this moment. It was incredible. Ellen, uh, our our trainer from Switzerland, is it? Yeah. Uh, Switzerland, yeah. Uh, she's Letizia, just, uh, just a hassle of name like that. Okay. Uh, Adria, one of our ambassadors, Gina, onde a Loreta gostaria de ter embaixadoras que ainda não tenha? Uh, não sei se essa pergunta será. Bem, vou fazer na mesma. So, they asking, where did you li... would you like to have more ambassadors that you still don't have? So, where would you like to have more in like a specific country or wherever? We, we, to be honest with you, we're always not for the quantity, but for the quality. And uh, we always open for inquiries. But for us, it's more important as well, um, the, the human part. Yeah, um, the humanity and the relationship. Uh, straight away, we, we, again, I'm very straightforward. I'm sorry, ladies. If the person is arrogant, um, always uh, loving only herself that's not uh, it's, it's not uh, not no room in flawless uh, we like relationship communication and of course uh, the work it has to be good but if this is not perfect is it's, it's absolutely fine because we always growing and uh, no one is perfect to be honest with you 
That's why I love you, Loretta. <laughs> love you too, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Loretta. <laughs> know that I've been saying that so many times in our meetings when I have meetings with the ambassadors you know I keep on saying this many times that you are so human with us and you try to keep such a close at least that's what I feel such a close uh, relationship with us and I feel as if I mean obviously I have total respect for what you do and your position in your com company obviously but I feel like I can speak anything with you that's such a nice feeling because i feel super comfortable with that and that's that's really nice that's, so that's lovely to hear gina i you know that i can uh, uh, i cannot be uh, like a really like a business only about business uh, i just cannot get rid of that part of me and sometimes i know it's maybe for some people it could look at the Yeah. Who, who doesn't look for a relationship like long long relationship for them it could look ah oh, you know she's all about the family about like a, a big relationships but i i think um, uh, if i haven't changed yet i will I won't change and sometimes it's really hard when you take it everything you know uh sometimes too personally maybe uh that's why you can go uh, through very deep uh you know, depression sometimes you know if something goes wrong because uh it's it's personal sometimes yeah uh but that's me and um, i think i cannot change myself and if if you do want to uh, avoid these kind of things don't 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 be like me <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you deal with so many people all over the world and so many different uh, things, you know. I think it's so much pressure and um, I don't even imagine, you know, what it's like uh, to to own your own uh, company and in such a big dimension. So, I mean, to, to be able to have it and still be able to... Um, share those words with us it's really nice and i i'm sure the girls feel the same at least the ones that are here and that's what i try to input also in my daily basis although i'm with loretta i'm also a bit like that as a person so i think that's why our relationship is always been so so good and that's what i i try to keep up which is it's nice it's a nice feeling because it's natural it's not nothing yes. forced Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, there's a girl here saying, thank you for the amazing Volume Lash online course. So this is one of my students. How it is possible that an online course was the best Lash course that I had in years? Only with the best. Loretta, thank you. Oh, we, we, we're not bringing it to the market if we <laughs> don't believe what we're bringing in. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, If we decided to launch something, we believe it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, here's one of the girls again, the ambassadors. Thank you, Loretta, for always watching our work as ambassadors. So they know that you are looking for them. We're creating a very, very close relationship between all of us. Aww. Thank you so much, uh, Anna here, also ambassador. Thank you so much. Everything, everything has changed for me after Flawless Lashes by Loretta. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just saying that I don't want to uh, tire you or bother you anymore. Okay. I don't want to make <laughs> this too much longer. We are wanting to say goodbye, but I was thanking all the girls for the really nice comments and for being here. And thank you, Loretta, for this time, because I know you've been uh, under a lot of pressure and work and and all of that so lately. So thank you for so much for being here. It was really important for me. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tina. And thank you, girls, for joining. I'm very, very glad that uh, you are with Gina. Gina looks after you. She's the best person in Portugal. Sorry, 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 <laughs> Robert, either. She's the best. <laughs> And and uh, just you know support each other, uh, look after each other. This way you can grow together. And yeah. I love you all. Uh, 
if there will be any other questions or any other teams you would like to hear from us, Regina, let us know. I'm always happy to, to jump on a live call. Okay. Thank you so much, Lawrence. Thank big you so kids. much. <laughs> Have a nice rest and I hope you feel better. It's just an allergy. Have some wine. I'll, I'll, I will I'll, yeah, have some. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a nice evening. <laughs>